Our goal with Destroy Humans 3 was to redefine the brand's irreverent sci-fi action humor. So what we really want to deliver the player is an over-the-top, immersive world. And so the next generation hardware really allows us to have hundreds of people on the screen at a time, really delivering that uh, 1970s, funked out, epic movie destruction. For the past 20 years, crypto's been in the business of destroying humans and collecting DNA. And crypto's kind of gotten lazy and he's enjoying the swank life in Vegas. Some mobsters are trying to push him out of the city and in the course of battling them, he finds out somebody is trying to usurp him from his home planet. So he sets on an adventure and along the way, he meets this master character, which puts him on the path of enlightenment. He must master the path of the body, the path of the mind, the path of space, and the path of time. These four paths of enlightenment are tied directly to crypto's core mental powers. And what he learns is the more he uses these powers effectively against humans and against his enemies, the more he is becoming enlightened, and he has to meditate to become more powerful. And he learns a new ability called Temporal Fist, which is the ability to stop time, mess things up, start time again, and watch mayhem play out. Crypto has uh, some of his old great weapons back, the anal probe, the zapomatic, the disintegrator ray, and the ion detonator, but they've been totally taken to 11. We have some great new weapons like the Venus Human Trap, which is a big, giant green plant with huge tentacles, and it'll pick up cars, pick up people, and just eat them. It's also interactive, so you can PK a human and bring it near a tentacle, and the Venus Human Trap will just grab it right from you. And one of the really cool weapons we have is called the Black Hole Gun, in which you just fire it off and this huge black hole just rips space wide open and everything, all the objects, all the cars and all the people just get sucked right into it before the final blast. And of course one of the uh, you know staples of the Destroy All Humans experience is our flying saucer. And the saucer has awesome new weapons but it also has the quantum deconstructor, everybody's favorite huge green blast is back and we now have a tornado tron. It generates a huge swirling tornado that looks absolutely beautiful. As synonymous with weapons in our game, we have mental abilities, like psychokinesis allows you to pick things up and you can throw people, or we have the new PK magnet, which allows you to pick somebody up and magnetize objects and other people around you into a big ball, and then you can throw them. And What's actually new with our game is that our mental abilities can be combined with the weapons and uh, with our jetpack, which has never been done before. You can pick somebody up, stick an ion detonator to them, throw them into a big pile of humans and cars and detonate it on demand, and watch the mayhem ensue. We have five huge open worlds in this game. We have fictional versions of Las Vegas, Hollywood, Hong Kong, Paris, and then we have another world far, far away. And they're, they're bigger, not so much out as much as up. They've grown up, they're much taller now, and they're much more densely packed with people, cars, interactive props. Everything in the world can be interacted with. Every building can be destroyed. Every human can be destroyed. And because these worlds are so vertical, we had to add verticality to gameplay. Crypto is in the business of cruelty to humans, and we make sure that we give the player every tool he needs to play out that role. We want players to feel like they're at the center of a science fiction action film. That they control the ultimate destroy all humans experience. Destroy all humans, Path of the Furon.